there is another connective tissue layer called deep fascia. This layer is a dense irregular connective tissue. About 700 is created muscles covering the whole body are found in paid into the connective tissue layer. Thank you. Yes, Ibrahim, you have hit the nail on the head. Now, do you know, guys, the which type of connective tissue that connects muscle to bone and bone to bone? No one? That's fine. I'm here to tell you. So, tendinous view is a what? So tendinous view is a tough band of white fibrous connective tissue that connects muscle to bone and is capable of withstanding tension. Tendons may also attach muscle to structure such as the eyebrow. Now, I want to ask a question regarding tendon. So is there anybody who would like to tell me which is the strongest tendon of the body? Yes, Manal, you please. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Good morning to my respected sir, respected ma'am and all of you. Happy as you have asked a question that which is the strongest tendon of the body? The strongest tendon of the body is tendocalcaneal tendon. This tendon connects gastronomy's muscle of shank with the calcaneal bone of ankle. Thank you very much. Yes, Manal, you, are, you have given a very good answer. Now, on to the next ligament. Ligament is a yellow fibrous connective tissue that connects bone to bone. It gives joint support and limits their movement. We have ligaments around our knees, elbows, shoulders, ankles, and many other joints. Now, is there anybody who would like to tell me which is the strongest ligament of the body? Yes, I'm shaking you. Good morning, sir, ma'am, and all my dear mates. As you have asked the question, which is the strongest ligament in our body? So my reply is that I femoral ligament is the strongest ligament in our body. Thank you. You are totally right. Now, do you know guys, like tendons and ligaments are both made up of one thing, and that is collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein of our body. It is for about 30% of our body's total protein. It is the primary building block of our body's skin, muscles, tendons, ligaments, bones, and other joints. Now, as we all know, that movement occurs in the human body because of one thing, and that is bone. So let's talk about bone. Bone is a living tissue that makes up the body's skeleton. It produces RBCs, WBCs, and blood platelets, and protects very solid. Bones work with muscle and joints to hold our body together and support freedom of movement. And as you all know that, bone, uh, our body is made up of bone. So who would like to tell me? At the time of birth, how many bones are there in a human body? Yes, you make you please. Thank you for the great question, Mikana. As you are the question, how many bones are in human body at the time of birth? Human body is composed of around 270 bones at birth. The total decreases of around 206 bones by adulthood. Some bones get diffused together. Yes, Vivek, you are totally right. Uh, now I want to ask another question. That who would like to tell me what are the mature cell of bone? Yes, Shreya. Thank you for your time for your opportunity. Good morning, respected sir, teachers, and all present here. As you have asked the question, what is the mature cell of bone? Mature cell of bone is called osteocyte, which is found in lacuna. Only one osteocyte is found in one lacuna. Thank you. Yes, Shreya. You have given a very nice answer. As there are two types of living cells that lay their bone, osteoclasts build layer upon layer of new bone material all around themselves and make the bone bone. And the osteoclasts do the bone. They break down old bone tissue. That's why they call it a bone destroying cell. Now, as I said that, bone is made up of two living cells. The first one is perosteum and the second is matrix of bone. So, who would like to explain me the matrix of bone? Yes, I should. Thank you for this auspicious opportunity. Good morning, Mr. Sir, teachers, and all living beings. Kanath, as you have asked a very beautiful question that what is the matrix of bone? Matrix of bone, matrix of bone constitute of inorganic compounds and the organic compounds. Inorganic compounds constitute 65 to 68% in which the most thickly part is contributed by the calcium phosphate that is 80% and the rest of the 20% is contributed by calcium carbonate, magnesium phosphate and the fluorides that are in very less quantity. And the second part that is organic part that is 32-35% and mostly constitute ocean. Ocean is a part in which the sulfated mucosaccharide, mucopolysaccharide is suspended. Thank you so much. Yes, sir, you are dead right. As I uh, want to ask another question. So, who would like to tell me how many types of canal are there in the human body? Uh, yes, Ifarhi. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Good morning, respected sir, respected teachers, and all of you. This is Farah. As Kainat, you have asked the question that how many means how many types of canals are there? So there are two types of canals. Firstly, the Hawishan canal, and the second one is the Boltzmann canal. Yes, Ifarhi, you are absolutely right. So there are many types of bone in a human body. 
the spongy bone, which is also known as cancellous bone, and a trabecular bone. The second one is a compact bone, which is also known as cortical bone. So, firstly, we will talk about the first one, which is spongy bone. Spongy bones are the types of bones in which Harvishian canal system are absent. It contains plates and parts of bone adjacent to small irregular cavities that contain RBA. All spongy bones of human body are hemipartite. The example of spongy bones are ribs, pubis, sternum, clavicle, and the end of long bones, such as femur and scapula. Now, the second one is compact bone. Compact bone is used to create much of the hard structure of the body. Cortical bone is a strong and compact type of bone which is found in the outer layer of the bone, long bone, and makes up the 80% of the body's skeleton. Now, its example is diaphysis of bone, long bone. Now, is there anybody who would like to ask a question? So, they can. Yes, sir, Fisher. And all present here, my question is to you, Karnatakri. Which is the smallest bone of human body and what its size? Yes, sir, Fisher. You have asked a very marvelous question. The smallest bone of the body is tapis, which is found in the middle here, and its size is 3 mm into 2.5 mm. Yes, sir. Teachers are not present here. My question is to you, Karnatakri. Which is the strongest bone in human body? Thank you, Rinoas, for asking this question. The strongest bone of the human body is femur, which is found in the thigh bone. It is also known as thigh bone and it is also the longest bone of the body. Now is there anyone? No one? That's fine. That's okay. I would love to say thanks to my respected sir and teachers for giving me this privileged opportunity and thank you so much.